Hi everybody, it's Crystal. So today I have a shawl tutorial for you. It's a very pretty shawl. And it's a very easy to row repeat. So we'll go ahead and look up but look at it up close. You can see that it has some puffs, it has some puff of e-stitches here, very easy to do, and some shell stitches. So if you know how to do the basic uh, stitches, such as double and single, you'll be able to do this shawl. It's very, very pretty. So um, mine actually is not completely finished, but I can show you the yarn that I am using right now for mine. Um, it looks like this. This is what it'll look like when it's all the way finished. But I thought I'd go ahead and show you how to start the shawl and that way you could uh, work on it as I work on mine. Okay, so this is the yarn I'm using. It's from the Stinley brand. It's called Candy Star Drops. Now it is 350 grams or 900 meters. So it's almost a thousand yards. It's a uh, cotton acrylic uh, silk blend. Now I would classify the one that I'm using um, probably at a three weight yarn. In between a two and a three. And as you can see, this one has sparkles in it. It's very pretty. Now you do not have to use this yarn at all. And you don't even have to use this weight. You can use a zero weight, one weight, two weight, three weight. You can even use a four weight. But remember, if you do use the four, it won't have quite the drape as a one, two, or three weight. But it'll still be pretty. Probably be better suited for a fall project if you use a four weight or a f fall uh, shawl if you use a four weight on it. But it's completely up to you. But yeah, that is the yarn that I used for this particular shawl. And I am going to be using, for mine I used a size I, which is a five and a half millimeter crochet hook. Now, if you use a different size yarn, which remember you can use any size that you want, um, um, I would recommend for a nice drape to use whatever the yarn recommends, use, probably a full hook size or a hook and a half size bigger than what it recommends and that way you'll get a nice drape on it so if you're using in between a two like a two or two weight i know five and a half probably three weight five and a half probably um anything you know lower than that if you're using maybe a one weight i don't just look at your yarn see what it recommends because every yard recommends something different. And um, use a, a hook size or a hook, hook and a half size bigger. Because that's going to give you more drape. And that's what you want. Alright. So like I said this is very easy. I'm going to be showing you with a different yarn. This is just some um, four weight uh, scrap yarn that I have. I don't even know what brand it is. But that doesn't matter. Because this is for tutorial purposes only. Alright. So we're going to go ahead and start out with a slip knot on our hook. Just like that. And now we're going to work a chain of five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we are going to slip stitch into the first stitch to form a ring. Now if you want to use the magic circle on this particular shawl, that would be fine. Otherwise, chain five and slip stitch into the first stitch to form a ring. I always throw my tail over. And I use my middle finger here to put in between the hook and the chain. And then I slip stitch. That way I can keep my center circle open. There we go. Okay, now we're going to start off by putting... It's a lot of V-stitches. And on the ends. And then V-puff stitches and shells. That's pretty much all it is the whole way through. So we're going to go ahead and start off by putting... A chain one which does not count as a stitch all right and we're going to work two double crochets in the center of the ring so there's one and two and then we're going to chain two and we're going to work two more double crochets so that is the V stitch for this particular pattern. Whenever we do a V stitch, we do two doubles, a chain two, and two doubles. All right, now we're going to chain two again. One, 
two and we're going to work a v-stitch back into the center of the ring so we're going to work two doubles chain two and two doubles just like that and again we're going to chain two one two we're going to go back through the center of the ring and we're going to work a v-stitch again you can slide these over if you need to so go back through the center and work your two doubles a chain of two and two more doubles and that will finish out that v-stitch just like that and that will finish out row one so you can go ahead and pull your tail should close up that circle a little bit more if not we will close it up later you can uh, sew it up later with the with your tail so at the end of row one you should have three of these stitches one two three with the chain two in between them so actually the chain two of this v-stitch or this v-stitch right here is going to be the center of your shawl okay so now we're going to go ahead and start row two every row is started the same and every row always ends the same so row two we're going to chain one and turn our work that chain one does not count as a stitch we're going to skip this first double crochet and we're going to slip stitch into the second one just like that and then we're going to slip stitch into the chain two space of the first v just like that now we're going to put a v stitch into this chain two space so we're going to chain one which doesn't count as a stitch and we're going to go back into here this chain two space and we're going to work two double crochets a chain of two and two more double crochets just like that and now into this next v stitch right here this chain two space we're going to work a shell now a shell for this pattern consists of seven double crochets into the space so we're not going to do any chains or anything we're going to go directly into this chain space here and we're going to work seven double crochets so there's one two three four sorry about that five six and seven so seven double crochets is the shell for this pattern now we're going to work we're going to jump to the next uh chain two space which is the center of the shawl now the center of the shawl is always the same as well until we get to the very last row of course when we do the edging we always put a V stitch in it. So it's two double crochets, a chain two, and two more double crochets into that same chain space. Just like that. Now we just need to make this side look like this side. So we're gonna do the exact same thing. So into the next chain two space right here, we're gonna work a shell. So we're gonna work seven double crochets. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, there's seven. And then here on the end, we always end the same. Right here on this chain two space of the last V, we're gonna put a V stitch into it. We're gonna work two doubles, chain of two, and two more doubles. And that will end row two. So that's what it starts to look like. Okay, so we'll go ahead and start row three. We are going to chain one and turn our work now we're going to start we always start the same so we're going to skip this first double crochet and slip stitch into the next 
and then we're going to slip stitch into the chain two space of the first V. We're going to chain one, which does not count as a stitch. And in this space, we're going to work a V stitch. So we're going to work our two doubles, our chain two, and two more doubles. Just like that. Now this is row is gonna this is gonna be puff stitches that we're gonna do now. So this is very easy as well. So we're gonna put our we're gonna we're not gonna do any change or anything. We're gonna put our first puff stitch right here in this space. The space right here between the shell and the first V stitch. Alright, right here. So we're gonna yarn over and go into that space and draw up a loop. We want to do that four times total. So that's number one. Again, yarn over, go into the same space, draw up a loop, that's two times. Yarn over, go into the same space, draw up a loop, that's three times. One more, yarn over, go into the same space, draw up a loop, that's four times. And you should have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine loops on your hook. You want to yarn over and go through all nine loops like that. And then we're going to work a chain of three. One, two, three. Now we're going to go back in that same spot and do a puff stitch again the exact same way. So we're going to yarn over, go into the same spot, draw up a loop. You want to do that four times. So that was number one. Yarn over, go in the same space. That's two. Yarn over, go into the same space. That's three. One more time, yarn over, go into the same space, that's four. You'll have nine loops, yarn over and go through all nine loops. And there you just did a puff V stitch. See how easy that is? Now what we're gonna do is a chain of five. One, two, three, four, five. And we're gonna skip over this shell right here. And in this space here between the shell and the V stitch point of the shawl, we're going to do another puffed uh, V stitch. So we're going to do the same thing here that we just did here. So we're going to yarn over and just go right into this space, draw up a loop. We need to do that four times. So that was one, two, three, four. You'll have nine loops. You can yarn over and go through all nine of them like that then you want to chain three one two three and then we're going to go back into the same space again and do another puff exactly the same way nine loops yarn over and go through all nine just like that and now since we're at the end here, right here is the point of our shawl. We're not going to do a chain five. We're only going to chain one to lock that last puff. And in this spot, we're going to do the same thing that we always do at the point of the shawl, which is put a V stitch in it. So we're going to do two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets. Just like that. Now we need to make this side match this side. So we're gonna start off now with the chain of one since we have that chain one right here. And we're going to work in the spot here between the shell and this part of the V-stitch and we're gonna put our puffed V-stitch there. Just like we did before on the other side. Nine loops shown over and go through all nine, sometimes that last one's hard to get, like that. Chain three, go back into the same spot and do another. Just like that. And now we're going to do a chain five because we're gonna be, we're the, up next is a shell, so we got to do a chain five to work over that shell. There's one, two, three, four, five, and we just kind of skip that shell. And right here in this space here at the end, 
in between the shell and your last v-stitch we're going to do our puffed v-stitch again chain three make another puff that and we are at the end so we're going to just do one chain one to lock that last puff and then we're going to do the same thing that we do at the end of every row in this chain two space of the last V we're going to put a V, a v stitch two doubles a chain two and two doubles just like that. So that's going to end row three. So rows four and five are going to be the repeat rows. And they're very easy to do. It's pretty much similar to what we just did. Um, just one thing that's different. So we're going to go ahead and start row four by chaining one and turning our work. Now remember, uh, we always start the same way. So we're going to skip our first double crochet and we're going to slip stitch into the next and then we're going to slip stitch into the v-stitch here chain one and put a v-stitch into the chain space so two double crochets there's one two chain two and two more double crochets one and two now what we're going to do is we're going to be putting shells in the chain three spaces of our puffed V stitches. That's where our shells are going to go from now on. So we're not going to do any chains or anything like that. We're just going to jump right over here to this chain three space in between this puff V stitch and we're going to work a shell which is seven double crochets right through that space. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, and there is seven, like that. All right, so now we have this chain space here and we need to lock it down with a single crochet. So we need to find the middle stitch of that group of seven on the shell. So it's gonna be the fourth one. I always kind of just count back one two three four and in that fourth one we're going to single crochet but we're going to get that chain in it too so go into that middle stitch of the group of seven which is the fourth one and grab that put that chain in there too yarn over and just do a single crochet like that there we go and that locked that chain down see that now we're not going to do any chains or anything we're going to come up here to the next puff V stitch and in the chain three space we're going to work a shell so we're going to do seven double crochets like that and you would would re, you would repeat that until you made it to your v the v stitch here the center v stitch and don't do any chains or anything just go directly into the chain two space and work a v stitch here at the at the point of your shawl so two doubles chain two and two doubles just like that now we need to make this side match this side. So again, we're going to jump to the chain three space in between the puff V stitch and work a shell. So seven double crochets. Oops. there's seven and now we're coming up to the chain space so we need to lock that down with a single crochet in the middle stitch of that shell 
So the fourth one, one, two, three, four, which is right here, go right into that fourth or the middle stitch of that shell and single crochet that chain down. Just like that. And then again, we're gonna jump over here to our puff V stitch and we're gonna work a shell into the chain three space. So seven double crochets. Like that. And we're gonna end it how we always end it into the last chain two space. We're gonna work a V stitch. So two doubles, chain two, and two doubles. And that will end row four, just like that. So every time you repeat row four, it'll just keep getting bigger and bigger. So we'll go ahead and start row five, which is the final row of the repeat before you put the edge on. So we're gonna chain one and turn, and we're gonna start it the same way. We're gonna skip our first double and slip stitch into the next one. Slip stitch into the chain two space, chain one, and go back into the chain two space and work two doubles, work on our V stitch, chain two, and two more doubles. So this is our puff stitch row again. So again, we're gonna work a puff stitch right here in this very first space in between our shell and the first V stitch. So we're gonna work our puff V stitch, just like we did before, into this space. Chain three, and then do your no another puff. And this time we're going to do a chain of five, so it'll go over the shell. So that was one, two, three, four, five. And now, from now on, our puff V stitches are gonna go into the single crochets as well as the sides. So here's a single crochet here, and that's where we're gonna work our next puff V stitch. It's in between these two shells. So you're right here. So go into that and you work your puff V stitch. Every time you do repeat this round, you'll have another single crochet to work a puff V stitch in because it just keeps getting bigger every round you go. And then we need to do a chain five again to get across this shell like that. Now you would continue that um, across any single crochets. You know, the bigger you go, I mean, the more rows you do, the more single crochets you'll have until you get to the last space before the V-stitch right here. And we'll need to put a puffed V-stitch into that space. three, go back in and do another, one, two, three, four, go through all, and since we're at the end here and we're at the point of our shawl, and there are no more shells to go across, we only do a chain of one, and then we work in the point of the shawl and we work our v-stitch as always which is two doubles chain two two doubles like 
like that and then we need to chain one after that one and now we need to make this side look like this side so we put our puff B stitch right here into this very first space And then we'll have to do a chain five to get across this shell. And as you can see, in between the shells is a single crochet. That's where we work our next puff of V-stitch into that single crochet. I gotta do a chain of five to get across that shell and you would keep doing that until you got to the end up here and in this spot here where there is no chain or anything it's just a spot in between the last v-stitch and the last shell we do our puffed v-stitch into that space And you only do chain one here at the end and then in the last V we do what we always do is put a V stitch into the last chain two space. Two doubles, chain two, two doubles. Just like that. So that is it. Uh, you would just repeat rows four and five until you get to your desired length. So when you chain one um, you'd be on row six and you would do a repeat of row four. So this, the, when the shells are facing upright and the puff stitches look more pronounced, this is the right side of your work. So let I me mean, stop for a second before I show you how to do the edging. Um, after you repeat for a while, it starts to look like this. You can see your puff stitches they get kind of, they kind of like catty corner each row or kind of start to go at an angle the more you every row you go you're going to add more puff stitch a puff stitch on each side puff v and the top of your shawl looks like that it has a slight slight v not much but as you can see it's it's very slight it might look like more in the beginning, but the more rows you do, the uh, more open it will become. But that's okay because shawls with deep D stitches are nice too. But this one, if you pull it out straight, will have a little bit of a, you know, slight dip at the top. And that's how it's supposed to be. All right, so once you get your shawl, you keep repeating rows four and five to get it as big as you want it to be. I'll show you how you can add a nice finishing finishing row to it. So I got the shawl as big as I want it to be. And I ended on a puff stitch row repeat. You see that? So this is what we're going to do now. So we're going to start the same way that we always started. So we're going to skip the first one slip stitch into the next double crochet slip stitch into the chain space chain one and go right back into that space and work a V stitch two doubles chain two and two doubles 
just like that. So this really isn't any different than the uh, repeat of row four. The only difference is at the point here, we do something a little different. So in the chain space of the puff V stitches, we work a shell, which is seven double crochets. There's seven. And here we need to lock down that chain space. So in the fourth chain of this shell, we're gonna single crochet with that chain space. So go into the fourth stitch or the middle stitch of that shell and get that chain in there and single crochet like that. And then we're gonna to jump to the next puff V right here. And we're gonna do a shell into that space. Maybe. There's seven. Again, we're going to continue this. Um, we're going to put a single crochet in the middle stitch of the shell to hold that chain space down like that. And then we would continue. We're going to put a shell here into the next V stitch. And you would just continue this pattern until you get to the point of your shawl. All right, so this is the only difference in this, the finishing row, as opposed to all the other rows. So I just did my shawl right here. And normally I would go into the point and do a V stitch. But instead, I'm going to put a single crochet right here in this space between this puff and this V stitch, single crochet. And now I'm going to put a shell right here in the V stitch, the point, seven double crochets. Remember, this is a finishing row. Like that and then I'm going to put a single crochet right here in between this puff and the V stitch here so right in this spot single crochet and then I'm just going to continue the pattern as normal like we did on the other side so you'd shell into the chain three space like that and then you need a single crochet this chain down by putting a single crochet in the fourth uh, or the middle stitch of the shell like that and then a shell into the next chain space so you would just repeat that remember that is just the finishing row so you got a shell here at the end and this is what it looks like after you repeat for a while let me get the right side up here and there it is with the finishing row, finishing shell at the bottom. I think it's quite pretty. I think it turned out quite nice. So this would be more like the front, I think, where the shells are on the front and the puffs are more prominent. Um, I think it would look really great in a solid color. And this is the back where the shells are on the opposite side and the puffs are more not so puffy on the opposite side. But that's it. That's all there is to it. So you can see it better here. Back side. Front side. Oh, it looks really good in the solid. But it looks it's going to look good in the um, a variegated. It'll look good in an ombre. It, or this uh, gradient, I meant. It'll look good in an ombre. It would look good uh, in a lot of different yarns and a lot of different fibers. So I hope you enjoy my tutorial. Remember four and five, four and five until you get to that last row. And the only difference is, is we do that little, uh, ending here at a point of our shawl. So I hope you enjoy my tutorial. Now, 
If you make this, don't forget to show me a picture on my Bag of Day Crochet Facebook page or on Instagram. There's links to that below in the description box. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my tutorials or videos, um, as well as a like button. And if you look below in the description box, the very first link up there will take you to over 1,100 crochet tutorials. They're all free for you to enjoy. So thanks everybody for watching. Bye guys.